Welcome to Sri Solar Life. Uh, I hope you have seen the uh, videos related to the solar and other technologies as well. Um, I hope uh, you have got some information how to design the solar panels for the particular locations. Again, we are telling you that uh, the solar panels uh, systems uh, selections is purely based upon the latitude and longitudes and how you are mounting, how, what will be the orientations and uh, you have to calculate the weather conditions etc so uh, it's not the matter of plug and play job and it's not a matter of uh, if you are putting kilowatt and kva is going to be generated whatever the units you are going to get and whatever the units you are using for the daily so according to these uh, all the calculations you know we have considered um, basic systems here uh, today we are going to talk about the solar panel uh, uh, installation for the particular locations uh, that will be the uh, that will be the rajkota uh, uh, which is the main city is uh, near I think one of the cities in uh, Gujarat the state will be the Gujarat the locations will be in India the exact locations will be the Mahatma Gandhi Museum it's located in Rajkot uh, let me check here uh, yeah I just would like to tell you that uh, latitude and longitude as well so I got close I just opening that yeah fine that exact locations will be the latitude and longitude would be 22.29 and 70.80 so that will be the locations exact locations what we are telling on this uh, video on this video uh, as well uh, uh, when you uh, plan for the solar panels or if you have if you have already installed the panels uh, at your facility you, you are not sure how much uh, readings you are getting early so in this case also you could approach us and if you are into this business or any kind of a technical related to this, if you are doing a job related to the power uh, solar panels or if you are planning for the solar installations too, if you have any concerns on the systems, how it's going to be, what will be the performance, uh, probably you can put a mail to streetsolarlife at gmail.com. Uh, so here we have uh, uh, consider, I think, yeah, locations I said, right? It's a Gujarat, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, so here uh, we have considered all the sizing and calculations. I uh, hope. Uh, uh, now uh, many viewers have got some information about how the solar panel is supposed to be and uh, we don't want to uh, give a lot of information about uh, each and everything so repeatedly uh, so you could watch our previous videos so you will be uh, gathered uh, all the information about the panels the ratings how it's going to be how it's performing uh, okay uh, so according to these calculations for these uh, locations uh, we have considered uh, 25 watts load uh, uh, four numbers which is running for eight hours per day and 10 watts load the toll numbers six hours running per day 100 watts load four numbers toll hours running per day 100 watts load four numbers toll, um, uh, toll hours running per day 50 hours load one number eight hours running per day so all these loads you are running for the duty or uh, cycles of 100 percentage so uh, here you could uh, we, we consider here the minimum loads uh, which you are using for the daily uh, like uh, kind of uh, lights on fans or uh, small uh, kind of fans and TVs so these kind of loads we have considered here uh, we, uh, we want to tell you that we have not considered any of the higher uh, rating of the loads uh, it means AC, grazer or the motor inductions of any other actuators blah blah uh, whatever higher load higher loads we have not considered here uh, we have considered the basic load which you are using the, the for the utility purpose so even could be a residential or the commercials so according to these calculations, uh, we'll be guiding you how to do this solar panels. Uh, you know that uh, we have taken all the data related to the weather. So when you see, install the solar panel, you have to look into the latitude and longitudes based on that uh, location. You have to see the weather conditions, a uh, lot of characteristics. You have to see that. And then you have to see the specification of the solar panels, uh, how the characteristics it was designed. Uh, so based on these uh, we will be taking all the data so even we have taken the historic data and we had a lot of experience uh, in the global solar project as well so as per our experience I think we are calculating these all the details and uh, you know we are guiding to you uh, so here we have considered uh, standard losses for the panels the aging factor even the dust also we have considered dust loss also we have considered it means you don't have to clean the panels for the sorry <coughs> sorry you don't have to plan clean the panels for a week or uh, day by day. Uh, you can do it for the once in a three or six. That will be more than sufficient. Uh, uh, if your climate is too dusty, probably you can do that time. Um, so based on we have considered those laws. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. So according to these calculations, uh, 
the entire units for the year even we have concern we are not uh, giving the uh, values for the month or uh, six months uh, we have taken all the data and we are calculating for the entire year so according to these calculations uh, uh, you need to generate uh, the power consumptions will be 2886 units for the year so for these um, uh, units uh, you need to size the panels for that locations uh, according to the, our calculations uh, we have considered the polycrystalline panels uh, uh, if you are planning for the mono if, if you are ready to spend a lot uh, probably you can go with that uh, uh, so you can uh, able to increase the efficiencies with the mono so for these locations or uh, uh, as per the sizing so uh, uh, you may have to go with uh, a 2900 watt panels it's a polycrystalline panel for these locations um, you have to uh, see the directions and uh, angles or degree of the most everything you have to see and keep it perfectly and then you could be able to uh, achieve here and uh, you have to look into the shared temperature if anything is uh, um, objecting that location so you have to consider that also in this calculations uh, but we have considered the standard sizings and all the factors uh, except the shared temperatures okay uh, we have concerns and uh, this is the panels you are going to install and if you install this kind of uh, panel at that locations so these are the units so what we are telling now that units we are going to generate from the year yeah so I think uh, if you are storing this energies to the battery if you are planning for any autonomy so if you are increasing the one day or two day backup so you can go with the battery system so when it is in the battery also you have to see the aging factors and losses and temperatures corrections a lot of things you have to see that and you have to see the characteristics of the batteries and you have to see the DODs and you have to look into that uh, 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 charge and discharge level low level cutoff etc if you are generating a lot of power if you are discharging so very less and if you are generating power a lot and but you keep discharging very high power uh, so your performance of the battery also will go down um, so in this case uh, you have to size battery accordingly uh, to achieve the battery efficiency uh, generally it will be designed for uh, five years for the solar lead acid tall tubular if you are maintaining well uh, it will have a lot of lifespan as well uh, I think uh, uh, apart from these uh, if you want uh, if you are generating the solar uh, DC uh, from the PV and it has to be converted you, you may have the converter kits like an inverter and other protection circuits so you have to be very careful you have to uh, you have to select very uh, um, perfect design rather than selections uh, when you talk about the prote protections level of the circuits so that you will save your cost uh, and you can also uh, uh, minimize the operating cost if you are planning uh, your solar panel designs at the beginning stage well then you don't have to spend a lot of things on the maintenance point of view uh, there are a lot of things available in the solar panels whether how you are designing whether it's going to be designed for the two year or 10 or 20 so based on that uh, so again so the decisions will be the purely based upon the panels and the locations and beyond that how you're going to be mount that so if everything's made perfect then you'll be like a person in the world i could say yeah i hope I, we have covered all the informations and uh, thank you for watching this video can you share this video to your friend circle if you have any concerns or if you have any doubts so probably you can put a mail to shri solar life at gmail.com thank you